Hey guys, how's it going, man? Welcome back. Uh, here's the deal. I just, uh, today's Friday. We're about 4.30 or so. And I had my test at 1 o'clock, still waiting on a, on a quick text uh, type thing. But uh, I'll, I'm, I'm actually in the progress of trying to find James. I just got a quick uh, thing for him that uh, uh, St. Don in California sent over. But uh, I want to point something out here. Right up here, this is the uh, uh, cemetery slash woods where, uh, you know, there's a handful of people that live there. And here we are. I took a different turn uh, just to drive around, <coughs> come across this building. No idea what it is. Looks like some kind of, I don't know, small warehouse type thing. Pretty cool. But check this out. Here we come upon, here's the church. You know, I mean, we're, we're right off a road. And here we go with a, a, uh, a shopping cart with someone's belongings. It looks as though they have a, uh, I guess this, you could call this uh, perhaps like a tent pole type thing. You know, you'd have a tent on it and, uh, you know, raise it to get shade. You know the drill, you know, patio thing. We got some uh, yarn items. Looks like they may have caught on fire. Not sure what happened there. SpongeBob pillow, ants everywhere, blanket, pair of shorts, and that's a jacket. I guess my point is, is that you see somebody who's homeless, and sometimes they're pushing a buggy. He may have even walked into a gas station where there's, you know, a shopping cart sitting right outside the grocery or you know, just a gas station. And there's, you know, they set it there. And you don't really bat an eyelash. You look at it and you say, oh, look at all that garbage. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> to somebody, every single thing that they have in that buggy has value in some way, shape, or form. You know, they'll walk around for hours and hours a day because that's what they do. They find cigarette butts. So maybe they'll put them in a Ziploc bag and they'll have 150 cigarette butts in a bag. That's, to them, that's cash, that's tradable, that's smokable. Um, that jacket has value. They could trade that for a meal. You know, what we might call garbage is their treasure. And, you know, you really got to think about it. So, it's just bizarre. And then, then I kind of noticed as I was pulling up and parking here, my car's right, I'm just parked, car's running. You know, it's only been two minutes. Yeah, I say that now. And it looks as though, you know, right around the corner here. Okay. Well, that's just some, oh, there's a trailer buried in the woods. Look at that. Well, that's bizarre. All right, I thought it was actually, I thought that was a small home. That's a camper. You know, one of them pop-up campers. There's a can of propane attached to it. Huh. With all this overgrown woods. Oh, boy, I'll tell you what. That overgrown camper would be gold. It's covered. It's got a tarp on it and everything. It looks like, you know, I would imagine it's probably functional. I might have to talk to these people and say, hey, uh, what's the story on a camper? You know. Oh. All right, I'm looking a little further. He can't, probably can't see it. Uh, it looks like it doesn't have a wheel. But, all right, for a later time. Wow, that's crazy. All right. I just saw I thought it was a bed, to be honest. I thought somebody was actually living there. But, yeah. Everything in that cart to someone had value at one point. Uh, was that a stolen cart that somebody had just dropped off? What happened to the owner of that cart? I don't know. All right, so actually, I'm not talking to any person, you know, people in, in you know, in person. So I have no possibility of, uh, you know, getting anybody sick. Hopefully, my test comes back all right. I've downgraded my my feeling of being 
you know, like 100% hot garbage. I've reduced that to, uh, I think I'm feeling more a little bit like warm garbage. It might even be a little, you know, it might be approaching room temperature garbage, but <laughs> garbage nonetheless. All right, man. Uh, I'm actually looking for somebody and uh, try the hands-free approach as I wait for my call. I just can't wait anymore, man. This is like an addicting behavior. This is a cool little spot. It's kind of stealth. There's, all right, well, all right, I'll be, I'll be back. That's a guarantee. Man, there's stuff everywhere. I'm gonna have to do some more investigative research. <coughs> all right, guys, uh, just kind of tuning you in on what's happening. But uh, all right, I'll be back in a minute.